Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of YouTube News. So in case you've been living under a rock, there's this new thing on YouTube called Cosmic Panda. It's got a cute little panda that's like waving his little lightsaber and there's stars and it makes you feel really warm and fuzzy inside. And then you transfer over to it and you've got some issues and some questions. And so let's take a look at the entire Cosmic Panda and see what's good, what's bad, and most of all, what do you think about it? Starting off on what hasn't changed, when you enable Cosmic Panda and you go back to your homepage, you see that you still have your same old homepage that we're just in the video and channel redesign right now. So if you go to the browse page too, not seeing any anything different, let's start off with the video viewing page and then move on to the channel page. First and foremost, the thing I really like about Cosmic Panda's video watch page is that videos seem to be front and center, and I know that's what they said in like their press release and their launch, but it really is like, it seems like the video with the way they change the background where the video plays and how you can expand it and the different ways that you can just, I feel like the video now is like in your face. And underneath the video, it's pretty much the same. You've got your description, you've got your comments. That doesn't really seem to have changed at all. And on the side, you've got your suggested videos, but then you can click on the suggested videos tab and whoosh, all these suggested videos for you to look at, which I think is really cool. I think hopefully the theory here is that people are gonna start clicking more in the suggested videos. A lot of stuff is gonna be able to go viral a lot easier. More new talents gonna be discovered and hopefully suggested videos will all be actually suggested videos. All the community is gonna be able to spread the wealth and receive benefits from this new video watch page. The one thing I haven't figured out on the new video watch page is how you leave a video response. It seems that button's been taken away as well as the subscribe button, which I have severe issues with. If you're watching a video, and you want to subscribe to the channel, there's no way to do it on the video page. You have to essentially click the user's little link that says, you know, here, what the buck showed, and click to go to their channel watch page, and let's show you what happens when you go to their channel watch page. On your channel watch page, the subscribe button has gone from a yellow, orangish thing that can stick out to this white thing, gray thing that blends into the gray background. It's literally essentially kind of masking the subscribe button. Who knows who's going to click it now because there's no visual cues to do it. I think that is going to severely limit subscriber numbers. I think you're gonna see subscribe numbers across the board go down, which is a bad thing because that's how you build your audience. Now, a lot of people have been freaking out over Twitter that I see about Cosmic Pan, and I think that the number one issue they're freaking out about is the template style that we've now switched to. And we've got four options, and each one of them leaves yeah, a little something to be desired, a little something, you know, that needs to be fixed or tweaked or whatever. And so the first one you've got is the creator template, which is basically you've got your main video that you just put up or whatever is your featured played video on your uh, channel page, which main video and then you've got all your other little playlists and um, you know that's okay it's cool to see playlists people that if they really enjoy one video are gonna want to check out the other playlists but I think it just severely limits the interaction with the user with the audience it seems like it's focused so much now on the playlist across all the templates playlists are such a massive thing and I don't know if people really utilize them that much and if the audience will really respond to them as well as YouTube is thinking they will then there's the blogger template, which is the one I'm using, and the one that I think is the best, is where basically you have every single one of your videos, like on the side when you used to have like your autoplay video, and then your library of videos that people could go through. Now it's just no autoplay, but every single one of your videos in chronological order backwards of when you uploaded them. So people can click on one, if they like that one, click on the next one. I really like the blogger template. And the third template is the network tab, which is really anyone that's in a collaboration of sorts, because you've got your main video, and then all of your other channels box. And all the other templates, your other channels box, are on the side right next to your description it's moved from the left side to the right side and you know just kind of an interesting choice I don't think it matters one way or the other whether your description and other channels are on the left side and the right side so I don't have any issues with that but in this one template for network it's now all front and center your channels and the you know the icons are blown up big and so it's really like in your face like these are the people I work with and these are the people that I want you to check out so I feel a lot of collaborators are gonna use the network tab and then finally there's the everything template which is pretty much like it sounds like you've got your main video, you've got your playlist, you don't have a whole bunch of other videos. New YouTubers and people that maybe don't make videos as much but more casual audience will go everything so they can just see everything on their page at once. I don't know, I uh, I, I don't know, I think blogger's the best blogger, then creator, the network, then everything is pretty much how I'm ranking them right now. I'd like to see some tweaks and additions, maybe some subtractions there, but all, as it is with every YouTube layout, it's something that everybody bitches about, everybody hates it, and then three to six months later, once they've made it permanent, people can't even remember what the last version was. And I really encourage all of you to go to that link, check it out, make sure you enable Cosmic Panda, give them all your feedback on it, and then you can unenable Cosmic Panda if you really don't like it, but it's important to enable it and give them the feedback, because without the feedback, they can't change anything, and then there's no reason for any of you to be bitching. 
And one final dislike I have of the whole thing is that banner ads are gone. The big banners that people used to spend so much time designing are now gone. And pretty much your only branding options are your avatar and then the picture in your background. So I think it's time to start giving that feedback like I keep saying, feedback, 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 so that we can make this be as user friendly and community friendly as possible. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be all good. And that is my little review of Cosmic Panda. I hope you enjoyed. Leave all of your comments down below. I will be reading all the comments, hopefully trying to respond to as many as possible because I wanted to give a brief overview and cover this as quickly as possible so we could really get a discussion going. And uh, yeah, hope you had an awesome weekend. Hope you have an awesome week. As always, thank you for watching YouTube News. Um, comments down there, thumbs up somewhere, subscribe up there until Cosmic Band is back and then no more subscribing. Hate that. But anyways, uh, have a great week and I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.